Scrap the current tax code and let Americans file their taxes on a postcard. Today, Governor Rick Perry unveiled the latest part of his economic plan on the presidential campaign trail, something he says will help balance the budget by 2020. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle has more. In an average tax season, 2,800 people walk into the Jackson Hewitt office in Cedar Park to see a tax professional like Pat Howard. Sadly, there will always be people with tax trouble. Um, we work year-round here, and we keep a staff of three to seven preparers on all year long. To help with the often confusing process and the thousands of pages that make up our current tax code. That's the simple Tim Geithner can even get the <laughs> In a South Carolina campaign stop, Governor Rick Perry held up a postcard. His solution to that confusion and the nation's economic problems. Make everyone pay the same rate, a flat tax, and skip the nightmare of all those forms. This is the size of what we're talking about right here. Taxpayers will be able to fill this out and file their taxes on that. Right now, your taxes are at different rates depending on your income level. Lower income might pay a rate down here, middle income here, and higher income up here. A flat tax moves everyone to the same rate, and in some cases, you might have to pay more. President Barack Obama's spokesman says Perry's plan would move the greater share of taxes onto the backs of the middle class. But Perry says it would actually lower taxes and help create jobs in the process. Plus, you'd have the option of keeping your current tax rate or what he's proposing for the flat tax. A 20% flat tax on their income. And until we see how all that's going to work together, I don't think anybody can say solidly, this is good. The idea of a simple system appeals to even Howard, who makes her living navigating it for you. And there's not a week that goes by that somebody doesn't walk in the door with five or six years of unfiled returns. She says people will still need help, and this might make her job a little easier. In Cedar Park, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. This isn't the first time Republicans have brought up the idea of a flat tax, of course. Such proposals came from publisher and former presidential candidate Steve Forbes, who you know is now a Perry supporter, and also from fellow Texan Dick Armey, who was once the U.S. House Majority Leader. Well, two GOP candidates, Herman Cain and Newt Gingrich, have agreed to a special debate right here in Texas. The group Texas Tea Party Patriots have invited, that has invited both to meet in, on November the 5th outside of Houston. It'll be a one-on-one -on -one style debate on Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. The Texas Tea Party has also contacted Governor Perry and Mitt Romney to see if they would participate in a separate debate.